Rare although an apology is from me, when I do give apology, it is for justified reasons. When I was a spiritualist, for the latter half of my time within the religion of spiritualism, I wasn't doing mediumship at the spiritualist church. I was questioning the belief. And so yes, I would get into arguments, heated debates over the validity of mediumship. And I did annoy some people. I did anger some people out there. And I'm sure that I made a few at least short-term enemies, by questioning what they were saying. In obvious cases with an older man and his daughter, who used to give the same message in every single service they used to perform mediumship in. Or a particular person who started in spiritualism around about the same time as me. And... He became a medium's like, protege, I suppose. And he ascended quick. But I never found the value in his work. Or for that matter, in his teacher's work. But I'm not going to give away names. Oh, I don't need to do that. There was also the woman who used to run a circle. And she believed she could channel angels. And she had an obsession about angels. An addiction, maybe. And one of the things that put me off mediumship massively towards the end of my time in spiritualism, within the last year of spiritualism, this is going back around about what, three years ago, was when she did a trance channeling of the Archangel Michael. It was so pathetic. And I've seen channelers work before, but I thought, right, the only circle I feel comfortable in is run by a quack. Although she may believe what she's doing, she's basically practicing nonsense. That was within my main spiritualist church, which was within a part of Birmingham, which I won't mention, because I don't wish to create negative publicity. And you know, I've seen more professional spiritualists who've been trained by the Spiritualist National Union, and I haven't been impressed there. And my apology is for perhaps emotionally, I don't know, maybe doing some harm, in case I have. Because if I have in any way offended you, or you feel like you've been wronged by me, I would like to say that's not my intent. It was not my intention back then. I was, and still am, striving to try and find some kind of objective truth. Some kind of objective reality as opposed to, well, subjective delusion. And this is what I've continued to do. Continue to learn what is actually true from a rational perspective. Increasingly more rational at least in my view anyway and that of my uh, friends and colleagues and I would like to say that I'm not about trying to put down your belief or you as a person I'm about seeing what is actually true I'm about seeing what actually works within reality and if that offends your religious faith, well, sorry, but it's inevitable that you will find offence because uh, I disagree fundamentally with your conclusions. I can't see any of the evidence for your claims. And I personally think that people who believe within the idea of spiritualism, the idea of mediumship, psychics, healers and relating mystical phenomena are probably deluded 
And that's, that's a conclusion based upon the evidence. Or should I say the lack of evidence provided by mediums and psychics and healers. So if that offends anyone, well, I'm sorry you're offended, but no offence is meant. I do not mean to offend. I merely mean to understand what is actually real. <laughs>